Hi, my name is Pierce Soulsby, and this is my presentation on Stanley Cohen's study of a moral panic. More specifically, his study on the broader consequences of such a moral panic. Stanley Cohen observed that the media tends to construct a fork devil, drawing attention to how the media tends to build caricatures of people and groups that are then held up as perceived societal ills or problems, outsiders who threaten society and offer a visible reminder of what we should not be. Cohen's own primary case study was on the 1960s media moral panic behind the violence between young mods and rockers. A stream of sensationalist headlines, reports, and features about the violence, as observed by Cohen, had the consequences of inflating the scale of such violent events and stigmatized the young people involved. Using this, Cohen comments upon the broader significance of these moral panics. As a broader consequence, the panic and stigmatization serves to reinforce and police the perceived normality of mainstream values for the use of the stereotyped outsider figure as something to clarify against. But more importantly, the coverage is also seen as to have an amplifying impact on the substance, distinctiveness, and identity of the group at hand. As in Cohen's case study, the mods and the rockers' characteristics and their mutual animosity have been cemented in the minds of the participants as a result of the media's coverage. As Stanley Cohen puts it, the societal reaction not only increases a deviant's chance of acting at all, it also provides him with his lines and stage direction. Video games have always been used as a scapegoat in attempts to explain violence in real life. This stems from the 1990s with the introduction of more graphically advanced games such as Doom and Mortal Kombat. The peak of public interest in the correlation between Video games and violent acts in real life came in the advent of the 1999 Columbine High School shootings. According to Christopher Ferguson, this resulted in scientific studies and sensationalist media reports unwittingly working together in, as Ferguson puts it, promoting an unreasonable fear of violent video games. This public hysteria regarding video game violence and violence in schools led to studies, quote, speaking beyond the available data, allowing for the promulgation of extreme claims without the usual scientific caution and skepticism. To conclude, Stanley, for his studies, affirms that negative media stigmatization contributes to social differences. These identifications through moral panic reporting tends to focus on immigrants, minority groups, young disadvantaged people, striking workers, and others, reinforcing the homogeny of a culture and the primacy of mainstream societal values. Media plays a key role in constructing caricatures of outsiders to define society against. Thank you.